um, so this time I'm going to be talking about hypermobility and then followed by hypomobility. Okay? Mm. Okay, so so what is a uh, hypermobility? So mainly it is um it can occur at any one joint, several joints, right? And what it is is basically an increase in uh, the angle of the joint. Um, let's say um, I'm hypermobile in my shoulder. I could be high pole, meaning um, there's no mobility in my elbow, and then hypermobile again in my my wrist. So those are possibilities, um, right? Um, or it could be the entire body or hypermobile, right? Like in the case of like a pregnant woman, because of that hormone, right? The relaxant, sometimes up to six months, or it's not sometimes, but <laughs> up to six months, um, sometimes could go over. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, uh, all their body um, is very lax, you know, see, right? They're very so hypermobile. And also, um, um, it's, because you know they that hormone is supposed to like make everything relax to give room for the joints for uh, especially um for the baby right our pe pelvis area right that you know that needs to be really um and it will uh, do its own job it that's why it's hypermobile as well and you know these hormones make that pregnant women uh be relaxed in, in all aspect so you know um, there are times they, you know, there'll be frequent urination, there'll be your, uh, going to the bathroom, urine, um, urination frequently, so they do that. And then, um, if, let's say, um, a person has, uh, been involved in, um, you know, constant, constant, um, micro, uh, not micro, like uh, overuse, let's say, of, uh, a joint. Right, and for, you know, for instance, instance again the the shoulder joint, right, and and some recent uh, factors also is that um, if if that is your job, so if you're if it's your job, let's say let's pick a a, a dancer is always a, a, a quick a pick or an athlete or. A gym, um, a gymnast, <laughs> and anybody who's flexible. Um, it also depends sometimes in the type of the body, right? Um, me, I'm very hard for um, uh, mobile, and it's not good. I, I've given birth to two kids, um, and I think it's my body type, um, and it's not good too because I'm prone to a lot of dysfunction, meaning. Um, well, if, if a client, let's say I'm going to go for a therapy, physical therapy, massage therapy, they will have to in length to, to strengthen all those um, corres corresponding muscles. Um, for, for instance, we're using the um, GH joint, uh, for example, today, right? Uh, or in this topic. So all the muscles that's causing the joint will need to be strengthened, right? Because they're all weak because it's being hypermobile, right? And also one thing that we don't want to is like you know over over flexing things you know we're already all always in a flex position right but then when we extend to um, you know we have ligaments that supporting that so sometimes these ligaments are overstretch right I'm gonna be uh, doing a video about that so um, we're trying not to sprain them as much and me, I do have the habit. I'm just trying to control myself. I like the habit of um, cracking my my um, hand. It's because I do have osteoarthritis. Um, I should have uh, put it on my video prior to this vlog. Um, so I like to crack it. Um, doing this, even when I was a kid, um, at the age of, I like the comfort. You know, my hands being, and I usually do that. It's like green tractioning um, for the fluid, right? Right, the synovial fluid to 
uh, bidding on the joints. I like doing that, but I do also like um, cracking it. So therefore, all my um, ligaments are all very flex, you know, flexible, and it's not good because these ones are always in pain and they're always prone to uh, being, um, you know, I how do you call it? Not really um, um, injury, but you know, I'm I'm a mom and. 5 a.m. sometimes 4 I'm awake I don't use an alarm clock so I'm always doing stuff I'm always I have my to do in my you know I'm non-stop so to speak whether I'm at work or at home I'm always non-stop my hands are always work, working doing something and I like keeping things and being active I can't sit and um, you know I'm just not that type of person so therefore my hands tend to uh, suffer because of that right um, we need to uh, also know um, uh, the, the most um, fragile area or joints that are prone to being hypermobile. I'm going to mention them. I just have to uh, look through my notes later on. I just, um, I don't have it, um, I don't remember by heart because I haven't really tackled this, um, um, in, you know, this topic. and. I am sharing this with you guys so that we, you, you know, it's a, an experience for me, it's a journey for me um, doing this and trying to learn it and also um, trying to share it with you guys and at the same time we're all both um, helping each other. Okay, so um, so if there's, um, you know, if there's a tightness in one area, um, what's going to happen is the, the other will compensate you know, there's going to be an uh, air that is weak and, and you know, stretch and, and all that, right? So uh, there's always that, you know, make sure that we address those dysfunction or imbalances that, um, you know, because of the hypermobility. It is not really a condition. It is more of like, um, a, you know, it, it's, it's really a normal occurrence of life that usually happen. And... Um, you know, if there's a, a damage to the joint, uh, let's say if there's sufficient damage, um, we need to have this, um, you know, at least, how do you call it, um, you know, be seen by a doctor or have assessed why, um, you know, why you are um, over uh, hypermobile, because hypermobile could indicate other things too, right? Okay, so I'm going to go through my notes now. The causes of hypermobility are... Compensation, compensation due to the hypermobility or posture of dysfunction elsewhere in the body, like I mentioned earlier. So uh, it has to compensate, right? You know, because there's um, a hypermobility is happening. Let's say, for instance, uh, for a CN CNS condition, right? So for a CNS condition, what's going to happen is it's going to create, I don't know, perhaps hemiplegia. I did a, 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 a YouTube about that, a, lot, a blog. So hemophilia will lead to uh, flaccidity, right? So in, in the flaccidity of the affected muscle, the antagonist opposing muscle, right? So there's going to be that imbalance already, and that's why this occur, uh, that some joints are high form mobility, some joints are high form mobility. But in general, for let's say a pregnant woman, I have used example earlier, that the whole, um, the whole body will be uh, high form mobility in that way. But then again, I said that, you know, could have, uh, hypermobility could affect one joint or several joints or the entire body. And that's the whole entire equation of how it's going to affect, okay? And in, um, so increased flexibility, flexibility due to body type or occupation or activity. Sometimes I talk really fast. I want to finish it fast because before I, everyone's awake or everybody comes. Okay. So, uh, like I said, if a dancer, you know, depends on that, okay? So, any hormonal um, influences, like, you know, uh, the relaxing that you have to do in pregnancy, right? So, joint trauma, such as pain or dislocation. Okay, so, if there's a, a sprain, uh, like I said, the ligaments are all stretched. In the case of dislocation, um, it's going to be hypermobile, but it's so painful. Uh, because it's a joint, joint trauma, and that's a given. So pathology and condition ca causing joint laxity, such as RA, which is short for rheumatoid arthritis. Okay, um, 
this one will cause uh, for sure um, uh, some hypermobility. Okay, um, I'm having tried to prepare myself to pronounce this. Ehlers Danlos syndromes and Marcan's syndrome. Okay, and any peripheral lesion, like I mentioned earlier, will we'll build up, right? We'll, we'll have some hypermobility on the area that's um, causing um, fibrosis or nerve compression. It's going to be an adhesion around it. Whereas the other uh, side will be hyper, you know, the compensatory joint will be hypermobility. Uh, okay. So, um, Okay, I'm going to talk about the contraindication. So we're not going to try to do some joint play or try to, you know, like mobilize like the already hypermobile joint. It doesn't make sense, right? So, you know, especially if a uh, um, pregnant woman who just gave birth and they came to you, they came to you for um, therapy or for massage therapy, for physical therapy, they wanted to, to strengthen their, you know, body. For me, when I gave birth for my firstborn, I was 23 years old, 22 to 23, I believe. Uh, if my, my, my memory corrects me, I mean, serves me right right now because I have no sleep. I did an all nighter. Um, the morning, they were like, What happened to you? I have no stomach because I was active during um, the pregnancy, entire pregnancy, although the morning sickness led me to a lot of chaos and I was a mess. But um i was really active and i was doing work i was just i don't want to lie down and i was in pain somewhere because i did a natural birth i didn't want any pill i didn't want any you know i'm i'm crazy like that like i i could have just broken the um uh, the pain cycle and dealt with it and let the healing but i did i did active you know and i was like i don't know i said i didn't give birth the same day I, I'm not kidding, but to be honest, I was having a lot of um, um, long uh, labor, and I don't know how I was so, it's the adrenaline, right? I was so pumped up during, and then the, the feeling of being a mom, right? So going back, but um, you guys can watch my other YouTube uh, channel. It's called Mellow uh, to Begin a Day. It's very random. I was just doing some random. I, I was not equipped really before. I was just doing some random topics and you know um uh, being a doula um you know it's one of uh, my um yes special life form so to speak so going back okay so do not stretch muscle that cause um hypermobile joint past accepted range for that joint okay and that um that is really not a uh, rocket science you know not complicated to understand um, they're already overstretched. We are not gonna stretch this uh, muscle, so we're gonna just try to lead the stretch or any um, extreme exercises uh, for a physical therapist or a personal trainer may prescribe for this client. All a massage therapist can prescribe um, um, some programs for exercises too, as a also. Um, personal trainer right so make sure that we know which one we assess them properly which one is hypermobile which one is hypermobile okay so I'm gonna be talking about showing about hypermobile in this separate have a separate uh, video okay I feel like people are coming now <laughs> 